Cool, so I'm Paddy from Balloon Machine and Showstream UK and today I'm here with Sydney Gish. Hello, Hello Sydney. Um, Sydney is about to support Hop Along tonight at Gorilla. Um, so yeah, is this your first time tour in the UK? This is my first tour in the UK. It's my first time ever in Manchester. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to be here. Um, it's really only like day four or five of tour. So um, first week of first UK mm -hmm. tour. So it's been really fun so far. Um, and yeah, looking forward to this show as well. And touring in the UK, do you find the crowds generally? Is there any differences between like shows you played in America? Yeah, I mean like um, it's pretty similar like Pretty, pretty good. People are nice. Um, mm -hmm. I yeah. can't think of any extreme regional differences, no. really. <laughs> which is good. It's like it's yeah. still fun, positive time. So mm -hmm. yeah. And before Hop Along, you supported uh, Mitski. Yep. And um, as well as like great exposure for you, are these also good like learning experiences? Uh, yeah, no, they definitely are because most of the people I go on tour with are. Um, yeah, most of them are like older than me and have a lot more experience mm -hmm. doing this. So like just from um, being in the same kind of daily routine, I like learn a lot about like what kind of like things will work and like what you can do for a while as opposed to like winging it by myself the entire time. Just mm -hmm. kind of like, oh my God, like that makes a lot of sense. Like this is normal. You did this. So it's cool mm -hmm. to do that and kind of to observe what other people are doing. And what particular lessons have you learned? Um, I'm not entirely sure what particular lessons I have learned, but I know mm -hmm. that at, at the whole, at the grand scheme of things, I do know that it's like more of a point A, point, not point A, point B situation. That's a bad way to phrase it, but like there's a way to like um, mm -hmm. logically continue that isn't just like throwing punches in the dark, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, you have said before, like you were questioning whether about going like all in with music. Um, Where did I say that? I read it in an interview like yesterday. Which but, interview yeah. did I say this? <laughs> Maybe you didn't, but... I, I probably did. Are you fully going all in with music? Because I know you've got a lot of, a lot of other artistic pursuits with like, yeah. your drawing and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that would be really cool. Mainly I'm in like college still. Like I'm in class right now online, so... Right, um, okay. Trying to do that and kind of like finish that because I'm already really kind of like four years deep into school and I just feel like I need to get out of there while mm -hmm. I can. Um, instead of like putting it off forever. So I definitely mm -hmm. want to try and do that. But it's all really up in the air because I mean, I'm not certain of my life plans at all and that's the only thing that's ever been constant. So I'm mm -hmm. just trying to accept entropy and have a fun time regardless. Yeah, yeah. Um, and right now I'm on tour and I'm having a blast. Yeah, but yeah. I also need to do my work and that's it for this month. So I'll I think about next month when it occurs. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how is it balancing the two? Like being um, on tour and having work to do? It's been confusing. I definitely agreed to do a lot of things, um, not realizing that I couldn't do all of them at the same time, so. Um, but it's like, whatever. I mean, like, mm. it's fine. The ways that I fail um, don't really hurt anyone else but me, so I feel like mm. they're good failures to have. Yeah. And your, like, doodles have kind of gone a bit mad, haven't they? Like, I've seen people <laughs> have them tattooed on their hip. Um, yes, that was actually, none of those are related to music actually. Cause they no, went, no, I know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they went viral on their own on Tumblr. So that was, there was that also. It was kind of like, I didn't set out like time to be a musician and go no. on tour. I'm just mm -hmm. glad that that was an option and I said yeah to doing that and now I'm here and it's like, great. Mm -hmm. But I was doing a lot of um, just creative work and posting it on like Instagram or Tumblr or whenever. Mm -hmm. I just made it because it's like, that's just the way that it works if I'm on mm -hmm. Tumblr all day like I'm gonna post a drawing from my class and then it goes viral because my mom embroidered it and yeah. then it ends up on BuzzFeed and someone gets a tattoo yeah. and then I become <laughs> a musician later so now and how I, did you feel when you saw that tattoo of your doodle yeah I was like wow this is great news <laughs> like the person messaged me first and they were like hey like is this okay if I do I'm like yeah it's okay are you sure you want to get the tattoo <laughs> like I, I like that they have it it's really cool but yeah. um it was definitely it was both of them are on people that I knew Mm -hmm. um, or the people that even knew that I made music or listened to it. Right, Because it okay. was like around the time of my first album, so it was like, I wasn't even the point. It was just mm -hmm. like, oh, there's a viral doodle of an egg that I saw online. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hell yeah, like, I don't know. People can do what they want. Like, I have a dumb tattoo. Like, I feel like yeah. people can get tattoos for joyous reasons. Yeah. Tattoos. You can get a tattoo for whatever reason you want. So I'm like, it's like, like, they messaged me and they were super polite about it. So I'm like, yeah, I mean, this is a decision that you're making for yourself. So <laughs> I'm just honored that you feel like, uh, feel that about the drawings. So yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, so it seems that you have like this aesthetic of like doodling and doing stuff on paint and stuff like that. Like where does that like casual sort of aesthetic come from? Um, I feel like it's just more fun to make art that's casual because it's like mm -hmm. not a big deal and I don't really owe anyone anything. Mm -hmm. Or like, um, I don't know, like I could technically try to make something higher quality but then I'd be really stressed out about it. So mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm just like in my own little isolated zone playing around with things, the worst that can happen is like I'd make something that looks stupid and I'm, then I can be like, I made something stupid on purpose <laughs> because it's actually more fun than trying really hard to make something appear yeah. legitimate. When there's tons of extremely well-funded legitimate art from large media companies right out there why would I try and imitate them instead of making do with what I have mm -hmm. like, yeah. I don't know mm -hmm. it's also not that deep I just get bored <laughs> I have yeah, a device yeah, yeah. and I'm like why mm -hmm. would I even involve someone else who I'm just gonna like have to translate my ideas to first mm -hmm. into words yeah. instead of just making one mm -hmm. so I just like playing around with um, with like software and stuff and seeing whatever I do mm -hmm. And you released your album after going to a, like your first album after going to a Frankie Cosmo show? Uh, yeah, my rock. first ever one. Mm -hmm. um, it was, I was kind of like thinking that I wanted to put out a bunch of demos. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I started looking through Frankie Cosmos' back catalog, I was like, yeah, like, yeah, I feel like I technically have a back catalog, even though it's like unfinished, like MP3s on my computer. Mm -hmm. I can just pretend they're a back catalog, yeah, and yeah. then they can be one. Mm -hmm. So now I have a back catalog. Yeah, yeah. So it's great. I don't know. It, it was fun. I just decided to um, put them out, so it was good. Mm -hmm. And um, you were like 16 at the time, weren't you? No, I was 18. I was in college already. 18, right? But I was, okay. They were songs that I made all throughout high school, so I was like 14 through 18 on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what was it like? Because I imagine you got more of a response to that than you you expected. So what? Oh, to my first, like the first ever one. Um. So the what? Um, Ed Buys Houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ed Buys mm -hmm. Houses. I was nineteen. Right. And okay. then I put out two before that on Bandcamp that were yeah. huge compilation things that like, right. weren't real okay. albums. Mm -hmm. And um, so those I just put out to have like a Bandcamp because mm -hmm. I wanted to have a Bandcamp instead of yeah. like. Here's my SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. made a band camp yeah. for the same reasons that mm -hmm. anyone makes a band camp. Like, no, I have one. And, um, but Ed Buys Houses, I wanted to make it look a bit cooler and like clean up the songs and make sure they all kind of related to each other. So I was like, now instead of throwing out demos, I want to make sure that like it has kind of a theme and like they all kind of mm -hmm. fit together and it's a fun little, like an imitation of an album instead mm -hmm. of like, here's my demos and it's clear yeah. that they're demos. I'm just like, why don't I try and paste it like an album too? That would be fun. So that's why I put out Advice Houses and I was 19 then. And then the next year I had the same thing with No Dogs Allowed. Mm -hmm. And here I am and I'm 22 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely going to make more, but mainly mm -hmm. just focusing on like touring and stuff now because it was an option and I was like, yeah, <laughs> I've been trying mm -hmm. to just do that as um, mm -hmm. efficiently as possible and set up something I can do for a while. Right. And um, it felt like imposter syndrome was maybe the mantra of No Dogs Allowed. Or, I don't know, that how it, that's how it feels to me, like the lyrics feel really important to me on that track. Yeah. So I just wondered if you'd tell us a bit about that track. Uh, well, Imposter Syndrome, I just thought it was a fun hook. Because um, mm -hmm. it's like a major scale, I love major scales in songs as the melody. It's just fun. Um, fun and logical, I don't, I don't know. I'm <laughs> just, uh, mm -hmm. it ended up being a fun one. Um, but No Dogs Allowed, I definitely, and Advice Houses really, everything that I've made really was just like feels very rushed to me which I think is going to be the um it's going to have like that's what everything I ever do feels like so I'm trying to just like forget that whole feeling but I wasn't thinking about it in particular any sort of way I was just like well here's a fun melody and here's a mm -hmm. and it had a it had a key change at the end and I was mm -hmm. kind of structuring it like a musical I'm like mm -hmm. damn this one's got a key change so it's going to go at the <laughs> end like like a refrain I don't, it was a fun little logical mm -hmm. organization mm -hmm like mission but I didn't yeah. really um, I didn't see it as like this is the it's kind of climactic but like just because I changed the key a bunch and I was like well this has this is structurally maybe go at the end mm -hmm. so that's why it's at the end yeah so finally what's next for Sydney Gish um, what is next for Sydney Gish is that <laughs> I'm here I'm gonna play this show um, I have the rest of the UK dates um, then I'm playing Ross Kilda festival in Denmark mm -hmm. after I fly home for a bit yeah and then I'm gonna go on a US tour mm -hmm. and play that in um, July and August and um, then I'm gonna be hanging out Then I'm gonna go do my last year of college mm -hmm. and um, then hopefully I won't fail that um, because <laughs> I won't be on tour mm -hmm. um, 
which I tried to do this year, mm. and I failed it. Right, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> turns out I can't just agree to everything. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, ma I mainly just like, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't like thinking about the future too much because mm -hmm. it freaks me the hell out because yeah. I don't know what's going on either. <laughs> I'm just glad that I made an album and people like it and I'm able to do this now. Yeah. I'm thrilled that this is my summer. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thanks very much for speaking yeah, thank to you us for the today. <laughs> Congratulations on your first video interview. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for having um, me. Okay, great. So yeah, I'm Paddy and yeah, thanks very much to Sydney for speaking to us today and yeah, we'll see you soon.